Welcome, this is Jake with Genesis Rage. In this video, we're going to be going over how to send an extension request from Unity. Now in order to send an extension request, we need to be at least logged into a zone. So this script here will connect to the server, log into the zone, and that's all it's set up to do right now. For this example, we will need to add another using statement. So down here, we're going to add another one. This one's going to be using SFS2X dot entities dot data. As I said before, we cannot send an extension request until we've at least logged into a zone. So here I'm going to come down to our on login method. This is where we actually log into the zone. This particular extension will require an object to be sent with some values. So we're going to create that now. Here we need to create a type of the SmartFox object interface. So that is I SFS object. We're going to call this one OBJ out. And this will equal a new SFS object. The two values that the extension is going to be looking for are both integers. So we're going to add those to the object now. And to do that, we go object or OBJ out dot put int. And this requires a key name, which the extension is looking for one called num a, and also takes in a value which will just make this two. For the second one, again obj out put int, and the second value it's looking for num b. And for the integer value, let's make this one five. So that's the object we're going to be sending to the extension. So we're actually ready to send the request. So for that is SFS, which is our SmartFox object and connected to the server, dot send. And this here is going to be sending a new extension request. There's a couple different overloads, but the one we're going to be using will take in a command name and the extension is actually listening for some numbers. Then we're going to send it the obj out. Now there's a couple more overloads like I said that will send it to a specific room or use UDP. However for this we're not needing it so we can just leave them off and use this overload. After the server handles this request it's going to be sending us a response so we need to actually listen for that. So we're going to come down here and create a new listener. We're going to call this on extension response. Again, it takes in a base event like all smart box listeners. And there are two parameters that we're really going to have to worry about. First one is a string. We'll call this one CMD. I'm going to typecast that into a string. And here we're going to grab e.params. And the parameter we're going to grab is called cmd. The second one is going to be an isfs object. We'll call this one obj in. I'm going to typecast this into a sfs object. And this one is e.params. And the parameter we're going to call is params. Now I did do a little typo here. Instead of an ISFS object, we need to typecast that into just an SFS object. Now this method here will actually listen for any extension response, so we need to actually check that CMD parameter that we grabbed to see if it's the one that we want. So we're going to come down here and go if CMD equals some numbers, which is the actual command name that this particular extension will return. And for here we're going to send out debug log and let's add in sum. Then we'll add in the obj in get int and this is actually returning an integer with the name of numc. 
And that's all we need for this method. So now we're going to actually add the listener. We're going to come up to our start method here. And here we're going to go SFS, add event listener. It's going to be a type of SFS event and extension response. And we'll send that to our on extension response method. And that's all we need for this file. So we're going to go ahead and save it out. Now I'm going to go ahead and start up the Smart Fox server. When that's ready, we'll switch over into Unity and test it out. Come up here, hit play. If you notice, connected, logged in, it sends the extension request, and it returns back with the sum of 7, which is indeed the sum of the number 2 and 5, which we set right in here. So that will wrap up this video, and thanks for watching.